It could be the engine for economic growth in Europe. That's why car manufacturers are looking to Russia. French-Japanese collaborators Renault-Nissan have signed on the dotted line to control Avtovaz, the firm that makes Russia's iconic Lada. Chairman and CEO of Renault-Nissan. Russia, as you know, is poised to become the largest auto market in Europe by 2015. The market is highly competitive. All of the major foreign automakers already have operations here. Volkswagen is one of those operations, and Russia's Prime Minister visited this week. VW has invested 770 million euros in a factory in Kaluga. It handles the whole process, including welding and painting. Russia's need to modernize and its growing middle class is driving the market potential. Old cars are still on the road in Russia, but more and more people are finding they now have the money to replace them. And there's another incentive for international players too, no import or export duties. On the Russian side, it's the technology offered by global players which has attracted Avtovaz. It survived a slump in 2009, but only with a state bailout. Igor Komarov is the company's president. We'll be producing an additional 400,000 cars for our alliance partners and around half a million engines and transmission boxes on top of our existing orders. But the most important thing is the number of new projects we'll be able to develop. Car sales in Russia grew by 40% last year to over 2.6 million vehicles. Many experts think it could overtake Germany as Europe's top car maker by the end of the decade.